baby. It's coming, time. baby. It ain't the time. Oh, it's coming. Off your son, your son's yeah. holding it down for you, babe. He will fucking call him out. Okay, fucking do it. He ain't no kill. What he whispered in his ear? Did he whisper Barry did it? <gasps> he whispered Barry did it. Did he whisper something? Just yeah, he just got it. No, what? He thought he kissed him? He wants to destroy. Sirens have brought you to the car. Yes. The car that we couldn't find even after scouring the woods for a month. I should guess I'm okay. You know what I saw the first time I met you? I was like, oh, this bad guy really cares about his teacher. You were almost protective of him. I'm not making this the league I am. I want to believe you. Because lying to a police officer during investigation is a crime. I mean, I won't say anything. There's no evidence to suggest that anyone was up in the woods with you other than the teacher. You can corroborate. Yeah, he doesn't want to, though. Maybe because of whatever he's going Okay. Doing. You're free to go. Can I see Mr. Kissing? Oh, no, we think he killed his girlfriend, so he's staying here with us. Oh, no, we think he did. Now she's the third cop that was at the thing, baby. I mean, do they not record? You know that, right? I'm gonna fucking kill you, Fuse. All you have to do is turn yourself in. Give it all up for him. Yeah? Not too altruistic now, are you motherfucker? Who's out of rooms? Look like. Yeah, who's out of rooms? You know what Fuchs know how to do best? Hey, hey. Convince you to yeah, do yeah. things. So, yeah, good. Yeah, so everyone showed. The audience is packed. Everyone's here. Oh, the bikes are here? Oh, so they got on board with the whole showcase idea? Oh, yeah, they're in, but well, they're not. I mean, they don't, they don't know. They're, they're as on board as they'll ever be, which is pretty on board. I know, I mean, you know. No pressure. No pressure, exactly. They can't even hear each other. It's just fucking unbelievable. So, unbelievable. Um, you feel good that we're doing this, though, right? Oh, me? I feel great that we're doing this. I feel so good because at the end of the day, you are telling your story. You're the artist. I'm supporting the artist. I brought all these people here because this is what you want to do, and you're going to be great, and I believe in you. She's for you. I just started this whole freaking thing. So I'm excited. You're excited. You're going to be great, and break freaking legs, Tally. Okay, see you later. See you later, old girl boys. This is the freaking out. I'm pulling her fucking hair out. This last, so you guys are gonna have to be patient. This last, so you have to be patient. You know what was in the toilet? It wasn't the vomit or the three day old pizza I 
poor bleach on and still ate, or even my made-up stomach issue. It was me. It was me. Stop going in your face, nigga. Well, gotcha. Some of this shit be hard. I know, like mm-hmm. fucking yeah. well, give gotcha. me a chance. Some of the shit y'all be green like to be four. lame as fuck. Got ten. Four got ten. Four got ten. Nine, eight, seven, six was the age when I was left at a garage sale. Oh, Jesus, Hank, they're all headed here now? Yes. Well, that felt like he's around all the way to He's like crazy Chechen boom whisper. Yeah. It might be a bit tricky. We had a minor falling out. Oh, come on. You guys are like a fleet of back. You break up, you get back together again, and then you go out and make a great album. Like the best of Fleetwood Mac. This is maybe more final than that. I just want to meet your guys to get my back, yes? <laughs> yeah, well, they like a noodle short, I'm afraid. <laughs> they maybe they the best of Anyway, you just say all the old stuff. Yeah. Come on, I'm, I'm the guy that made Barry. They'll listen to me. Hey, fellas. Okay, guys, guys. Get off this. Are they about to murder him? Yeah. Maybe they're doing it for him. Where the fuck can I have? Also, I was thinking, dudes. Oh no, it's them two. Oh, you know, seems you know. like you brought a lot of people and guns for a talk with friends. Who is this? Victor Loco. Yes, muy triste. <laughs> No one can hear you. <laughs> is, is he talking to us? Is they he, can't is he hear you. I love no, the realism, the, yeah. but like when you think about it, like... Is he on the Bluetooth? Is he on the Bluetooth? Oh, okay. I hear my name. He's talking to us. <laughs> I hear my name. <laughs> I can't watch. Mr. Ball. Esther, nice to meet you. You know, in America, Esther is a woman's name. Who the woman. fuck are you? Fuchs. Monroe Fuchs. I'm uh, Hank's representative. Let's get to it. You came here to kill us. Okay? Murder. <laughs> I used to think people like you were the shit, man. Badasses like yourself always fascinated me. But to me, one eight seven. Actually, actually, pulling the trigger, ending a life. I'm going to take someone with. No soul. No soul. Hank tried to crisscross me. You and Hank, you're in a transitional phase. That's all. You know, people meet and sometimes they lock into each other like two long sought after pieces of a puzzle. Now, as time goes on, these pieces, they morph and they, they grow. And they can grow together and become stronger, or they can become two completely different shapes. That, See, so what it's own shape. They don't have any room for each other. They don't fit anymore. If that's one thing I've learned in my life, you can't control what other people are going to do. No. They need their own space to become whatever weird-ass shape they're going to change into. It's nature. You can't control it, but you can't accept it. And I think, you know, you and Hank, that's still a fit, man. Sandwiches, and, uh, you know, case of rolling rock. Let's do it all. 
Um, but yeah. Oh, I'm sweating. All right, you guys clearly don't get this. So to recap, this. So walking down this, it was seen by her. Not, not actually her. This is not a photo of me. I don't have any photos of myself from my childhood because my uncle burned down the house and my mum was still inside. But that's, that is not relevant to this story, is it? Lindsay seems That's really nervous. Oh, what did she say? Yeah, she should have probably went first. Right? Barry, telling the truth is the right thing to do, right? Barry! Oh my god, are you okay? Okay. <laughs> it's fine, guys. Break <laughs> <My> legs. <laughs> Fuck. All right, Barry, you good? Are you okay. Okay. Wait, I don't need this right now. Are you fucking okay? No, this is a These three pictures is let's get out of here. Yeah, actually oh here. my gosh, I'm really stressed out. Cause he is very stressed out. It was it was a typical November night. It was cold outside and he had been drinking. Oh my god. Who's that guy you were dancing with tonight? Ken? Well, he's just a friend, Sam. I didn't like it. It was embarrassing. He looked like a fucking whore. <sighs> Come on, Sam. Don't... Don't be an idiot. Don't fucking call me an idiot. <laughs> oh! <Yeah. laughs> Shit! <laughs> she done. He's burning everybody. Oh my hey. god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh the god. Oh my god. Oh Oh fuck. Man is a marksman. Fucking Barry, 
babe? Get up! Get up, you fuck! He's got like so many people right now. That's his boy. That's his boy he trained. This is probably not fucking love. Oh, so PTSD. He was blind, babe. He was so triggered. He couldn't see shit. Barry? Yep, you too. Shot. Are they going to show him what he said to him? Oh. He just didn't even process it because he was so traumatized. Fuck. Directed by Bill Hare. <sighs> Alright, that was the season finale of Barry and Wow. What an epic season finale that was. I've only seen one other person control a nine Glock like that with so much accuracy. Um, it's, your, it's your boy. Jack Bauer. <laughs> Good job, baby. It's your boy Jack Bauer from 24. Ain't nobody gonna come through. Or with John Wick. Down. I feel like John Wick is kind yeah, of Yeah, John Wick, too. but he used all types of guns and shit. But fucking Jack Bauer and now Barry coming through with a fucking one hand gun and two clips take out three types of fucking families. Right? The Chechens, the, 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 the Roots, and the whatever who else over there. Took them all out because he's so fueled on fuse to find them. It, it, it's, it's freaking crazy. And that was deliciously done right there. I mean, I loved every minute of it. And it was it was excellently done. Uh, the walkthrough and everything was great. 
You called it though. Fuchs told um, um, Mr. Canucci that yeah, Barry was the one who did it. Um, we still only seen some legs. Obviously, it's, it's just got to be her. I mean, I guess they don't want to show whatever on there, but it's her. I mean, right? we saw the flashback of him shooting her. So, like, it all yeah. the things were already revolved. I mean, they like, I don't know how much more we can show y'all that it's her, but it's her. Yeah. That she's up in there. That's okay. Got it. Right? And then, um, um, yeah, so we didn't see all the bits and pieces, but I guess it doesn't need to be because, like you said, Barry... Got there, threw the pin in there, closed the trunk, and then everybody got arrested. I guess that's what happened right there. So, but that was very smart of him because now everybody thinks it's the Chechens who did that. But there ain't no more Chechens right now. That's not a no ho Hank and the new guy. Yeah. So, and no ho Hank, if he was smart, he would have went on ahead and killed the new guy too and been done with it because everybody dead right now. Ain't nobody here to tell a story but him. So, um, wow, what a great finish. To a great season. And, um, yeah, uh, just the other sad story over there with old girl. Sally. Uh, Sally, come on. She, she just flipped the script on Barry. You trying to hype Barry up and slapping him and shit to do his part. He's ready to go do his thing. And then you flip it because of Hollywood and do your own thing. But, hey, the flip side of it, you did get a lot of recognition from it. And you're probably about to be real big off this shit now. So, I hope you're happy about that. But we'll see how that work out. But another great episode right here and a good, great finale. And I cannot wait to see what season three all about. Thank you. Yeah, absolutely agree. Um, really hope, again, I'll keep saying it until we get to a season that we have to wait for. I hope this gets voted into regular rotation because it absolutely deserves to be in regular rotation. Um, but I will say one of my favorite things about season two is what they did with Sally's character. I know I was super annoyed with her all <laughs> of season one, but I think what they were able to do with her character this season specifically, I felt like they definitely pulled back the layers and made her made her feel much more of a likable character. Yes, she panicked this episode as far as like, wanting to show the best version of herself amidst all of the audience and everybody that was there. But like then she gets the gratification of everybody else wants to see the best version of themselves and the people they go to see as well. So I thought that was just a, a, a brilliant way to, to uh, have that come to fruition whereas she was first starting off being fake and doing the fakeness and then now it's celebrated and like she's so conflicted and I appreciate uh, the conflict. You know she's gonna keep doing it. I mean, but you saw how heartbroken she was because yeah. she was like, I don't want to, I want to tell my truth. It's uh, just, yeah. it's Until so, she the fame, though, it's so nuanced and layered and I appreciate the fact from where they took us from where she started with because now I empathize with her character when I was just annoyed. Like she was just very annoying character. So like the, the transformation they did with Sally specifically, I really, really appreciate. Um, where we are right now with Barry, um, so I thought it was really <laughs> clever. Again, he was never intending to tell the truth, even though he felt inspired and potentially called to it. But, like, he was never intending to tell the truth either. Like, you you thought that this, that's where it was leading to, but the same way that Sally flipped the script and wanted to show the best version of herself, Barry was never intending to bite that bullet. He dropped that pin at the very moment, knowing he was going to cover himself. So that through line of, like, trying to... Thinking that you can be a better person or being your true version of yourself doesn't actually none of them actually believe it. You gotta be the best. You gotta fake it. Yeah. Um, so I appreciated the consistency in that, and I absolutely love the fact that that's like he threw that pin in and all that. How that plays out now, though, knowing that Fuchs did drop that ear bomb or earworm or however it said uh, in uh, in Jean's ear, knowing that Barry did it. And now that the old, the whole, all the entire squad's dead except for Noho Hake and the new boss guy, um, I'm, I'm wondering if, like, Barry's gonna have to, like, team with them in order, be, I don't know how it's gonna play out because the, the, the police are gonna, like, be after them because that's who they're gonna think is the murderer, right? And then 
Fuchs, though, also told Jean that it's Barry, so it's going to make them seem like they're all part of the same gang, right? They're all in, the, all in it together. I have no idea where it plays out in season three. Like, actually no idea, but I know now they're all out there and all being looked at again by the police. So we'll have to see that plays out, and especially with Jean, I'm so curious to see how that plays out with him and Barry specifically. Uh, but another incredible season. They elevated in my opinion, completely from season one to season two, and I can't wait to see how they elevate yeah. it going into season three. So, hope we get to jump into season three, like, immediately. Yep. <laughs> Alright, well, look, thank you guys again for watching another Real Talk Reaction for Barry on um, the season finale of season two. And until next time, people, peace.